All right, so Pow Mister sent me the Pow M60 Ultra. Came with this nice box. Let's take a look inside. Nice packaging, temperature sensor, a wire, mounting screws, the unit itself, user manual, and a mounting template. That's pretty handy. Taking a look at this MPPT charge controller, looks beefy enough. Big heatsink on the back, ventilation on the top, your inputs and outputs, buttons, solar panels, batteries, and loads, temperature sensor, and an RS6485. Compatible with voltages ranging from 12 to 48 volts. The user manual includes the basic setup of the system, operation guide, battery types, pretty much every battery you can think of. And if you can't think of it, there is a user defined battery type for you to set up yourself. It is a 60 amp. MPPT charge controller, which means you can output up to 60 amps of current into your solar batteries. Maximum solar array voltage is 160 volts. Input power for 12 volt system 720 watts, 24, 24 volt system 1440, 36 volts. 2100 48 volt systems 2800 watts of solar input and your different voltage ranges depending on your voltage system 12 volt 20 to 80 volts and up to 48 volts which is 72 to 160 volts yeah looks good all right so all of a sudden we're in the rv so this charge controller is for medium to large size solar power systems it supports up to 12 units in parallel you got a big battery bank different arrays with multiple of these units could charge the same battery bank. Solar panels come in here, your battery goes here, and your loads go here. The load output supports 25 amps, which is nice. Pretty decent sized terminals for a 60 amp charge controller like this i would always recommend going with as thick cables as you can coming from the charge controller to the battery in this case it looks like and we should be able to use a six gauge wire six gauge is rated for what about 65 amps what you don't want to do is use too small of a cable. If your current output from the charge controller is too high, your cables will become a fuse. They will melt. They could cause fires and you wouldn't want that. Let's try hooking it up to a battery and connecting something for the load and we can take a look at the settings. So I connected the charge controller to a battery. We're using the Basin Green 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Screen lit up like that. 
six gauge cables, also snug fit. Make sure you tighten everything down. Loose connection can cause problems like heat or fire, so be careful. So, first glance at the interface. Got your PV, your photovoltaic information in volts or watts. Your battery back here showing the voltage, which is correct. Just checked. Amperage, nothing is coming in or going out at the moment. I haven't put the temperature probe in, so I guess the default is 25. Turning your loads on or off. Let's see if we can check the battery type. Select L04 for four cells in series like that. Boost charging 14.5, float charging 13.8, under voltage recovery voltage 12 volts, and your under voltage cutoff at 11.2 which is fine i'm gonna leave it as it is for now let's for fun's sake add the load and let's insert the temperature sensor right there got our temperature sensor connected right here it's about 20 degrees in here right now so that's fine I hooked up a small load, an LED light, which is actually dimmable. Let's try it out. Oh! Well, it's working! This setup is as simple as it gets. Battery, charge controller, loads. All you need to do is add some solar panels according to the specifications in the manual and you're good to go. It changes colors. So all in all, the MPPT solar charge controller from Powmister, the M60 Ultra, Seems like a good product. It feels really solid. It feels like quality. Um, it's a great way to start if you're thinking about going solar, but you want to start small. This thing will grow with your system until you maxed it out. You can get another one and put it in parallel and max that out. Anywhere from 12 to 48 volts, no problem. I'll leave links to both the Amazon product page and to Powmister's own shop if you want to check it out. Got any questions? Feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Be sure to check out these two videos next, because YouTube wants you to, and I'll see you in the next one.